It's midday in Kiambu in central Kenya, one of the country's major agrarian areas where trees have taken on a whole lot of appeal besides providing shade from the scorching tropical heat. The man behind these trees here is David Kiruku, well known around here for his love of trees. David says he first fell in love with trees in 1975 when a friend asked him to plant a tree to commemorate a trip that he made to Rome courtesy of a church group. Decades later, that tree remains a centerpiece in his homestead. I planted uh, our, usual, our usual crop, maize, benin, beans, and so forth. And as we went along, I started developing uh, a tree of different varieties. Planting trees is a philosophy that he says has carried over into agriculture a practice that he says has enabled him improve yields and reduce dependence on fertilizer. He is now an ardent proponent of the practice of agroforestry. We got a lot of scarcity and we, we found, even with our advisors, that we, we, need, crop, we, we, we need trees for our daily use and uh, we need other crops. On this particular day, Sami Karsan, a tree domestication scientist with the World Agroforestry Center in Nairobi, has come to see the findings of his research being put into action. He found out that crop production in Africa is seriously hampered by the degradation of soil fertility, water and biodiversity resources. In addition, he noted that climate change and increasing demand for food, animal fodder and fuel is likely to worsen the situation. If you look at the data, the, the you know, uh, issue of sustainability for agriculture itself, uh, from species diversity uh, to issues of soil health, um, what we see in our smaller system now is a serious loss of soil fertility. Scientists now say that farmers in Africa can increase their food production if they avoid over-dependence on fertilizer and pesticides and practice agriculture intensification, that is, the growing of more food in the same amount of land through natural and resource conserving approaches such as agroforestry. We think a sustainable way to do it is to actually use organic means to integrate fertility into the source. Uh, trees within a farming system serve very well that role uh, in the sense that trees can actually fetch the nutrients down uh, in the deep layers of the source and bring it up um, in the top layers of the soils where farmers are, are cropping their, their, their final crops or their food crops. The scientists insist that growing more food on the same size of land is key to increasing food production in Africa to meet the needs of an ever-growing population. This plot here is a center of biodiversity containing everything from a small forest to fruit trees to vegetables to maize and even cassava. This here is real proof that the concept of intensive agriculture coupled with agroforestry may indeed be the answer to Africa's consistent food insecurity. Peter Kabasisi TV in Kiambu in central Kenya.